okay welcome back uh, this is the final uh, video uh, regarding the completion of uh, two way slab system uh, and uh, we will uh, analyze and design the slab using the direct design method let me choose the pointer uh, it says that using the direct design method design the typical interior flat plate panel okay please keep in mind what it is asking interior flat plate panel shown in figures 16 and 17 the floor system consists of four panels in each direction with a panel size of 24 by 20. All panels are supported by 20 by 20 inch columns, 12 feet long. Columns are 12 feet long, okay. The slab carries a uniform service live load of 100 PSF and a service dead load that consists of 24 PSF to floor finish in addition to this slab self weight. So the slab self weight is not added in this one, okay. Use normal weight concrete FC prime 4000 and FY 60,000 PSI. Uh, okay, let me take you to figure 16 and 17. This is figure 16 where you can see that uh, the panel that is shown to you, uh, the length uh, in this direction is 24 feet and in the transverse direction it is 20 feet. The columns are 20 inch by 20 inch. So the center line of the column will be 10 inch in both the directions okay from the exterior uh, uh, face of the uh, slab systems it says all columns are 20 by 20 inch this is figure 16 uh, section AA shown to you and this is figure 17 where uh, you can see that the panel is shown to you and uh, the column strips middle strips these are all shown to you for example uh, in the 24 feet direction for example this is 24 feet right and it is uh, distributed into column strips the column strips are 5 feet and 5 feet and the remaining uh, 14 feet are the middle strip right so the middle strips are 14 feet and the column strips are 10 feet and in the transverse direction the column strip is uh, 10 feet and the middle strip is also 10 feet right and uh, they have determined it uh, by using the formulas okay S determine this minimum slab thickness using table 1 in the uh, first video where I have explained how to determine the slab thickness from example 1 right a 9 inch slab thickness is adopted so here we are just directly adopting a 9 inch slab Calculate the factored loads. QD is equal to 24 which is given to us plus weight of the slab uh, which we have to determine by this 9 inch uh, thickness. So 9 by 12 into 150 will give us 136 and QU uh, total will be equal to 1.2 into this dead plus 1.6 into this live. So it gives us 323. So let's say uh, 330 PSF is our applied load. Now check 1 and 2 way shears. Uh, A check punching shear at a distance so first we are checking two way shear at a distance d by 2 from the face of the column uh, assuming 3 fourth uh, inch concrete cover and number 5 bars then we the our average d will be equal to 9 minus this uh, 3 by 4 which is 0.75 minus this 5 by 8 how uh, the bar which gives us 7.6 and b naught is equal to 4 into 20 which is the uh, size of the column plus this D, the average depth. So B0 is equal to 4 into uh, C plus D, which is equal to 110 inch, okay. So for example, this C, here D by 2 on one side, D by 2 on the other side. So when you add them up, this is equal to D plus this uh, column C. So C plus D is your uh, B0. 4 times C plus D is your B naught, right? This is your B naught, this critical parameter. So for the two-way shear, now uh, VU is equal to L1 into L2 minus 27.6 by 12 into 27.6 by 12. We already determined what is 27.6, which is the length of this critical parameter in both the directions, right? So uh, you just uh, subtract this from uh, area of the panel which is L1 by L2 and multiply it with the QU will give you the value of VU. So our VU in this case is 156.7 kips, right? 
Now capacity of concrete against shear is equal to phi into 2 plus 4 by beta under root Fc prime B naught into D. We know other factors but we do not know what is beta in this case. So beta is equal to 24 by 20 which is equal to 1.2 right. So putting the values here 0 0.75 into 2 plus 4 by 1.2 into this thing uh, will give us a value of 211 kips right. So our phi Vc is 211.5 kips by this formula. There is another formula uh, which is uh, phi alpha s d divided by b naught plus 2 into this thing. So here alpha s is equal to 40 for interior column and when we put the values we get a value of 188.9 k which is less than this 211 but both of them are greater than this 156. Also there is a third one uh, which is a very famous equation phi 400 fc prime b naught d and when we put the values in it we get a value of 158.6 k which is quite close but still greater than this 156.7. So Vu is less than phi Vc, all the three phi Vcs, right? Now, uh, two way punching is okay. Now, check the one way punch, uh, one way shear, uh, beam shear at a distance d from the face of the column. Average d is 7.6. We already determined it. Consider a one feet strip with the length of the strip being x is equal to uh, 12 minus 10 by 12 minus 7.6 by 12, right? Uh, 12 is the uh, uh, one width uh, one fit strip okay uh, which gives us uh, the uh, value of uh, 10.5 feet vu is equal to uh, sorry this 12 is not the one fit strip this 12 is the length of the uh, 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 what you said the slab so vu is equal to qu into 1 plus 10.5 this one is this one fit strip uh, into 10.5 which we just determined from here the x and it gives us the value of 3.47 kips and when we determine the value of 5 vc it is 8.7 kips so which is greater than vu in normal loadings one way shear does not control and this was our case as well now calculate the total static moments in long and short directions so in long direction just simply put the values in this formula and it is 411 and in short direction the m naught is 333 kip fit because L2 is less than L1, L2 is 20 and L1 is uh, 24. That's why we uh, got here uh, half of the 24, which is 12, right? To determine the value of x. The width of half of column strip in the loading direction is 0.25 into 20. Uh, this is uh, in the longer direction, which is 5 feet. And the width of the middle strip is 20 minus 2 of the uh, column strips which gives us 10 feet. So in this case uh, both the strips will be of 10 feet width. The width of half the column strip in the short direction is 5 feet and that of the middle strip will be 14 feet. To calculate the effective depth D in each direction assume that the steel bars in the short directions are placed on top of the bars in the long direction so that we get more uh, depth for the bars in the longer direction to carry uh, bigger bending moment. So, uh, as you can see from here that the bending moment in the longer direction is much more than the bending moment in the shorter direction. The design procedure can be conveniently arranged in a form of table and uh, table 7 and 8 will explain that. And after that the details for the bar selected for this interior slab will be shown in figure 18 and minimum length of bars should met figure 19. Straight bars and FY is equal to 60 KSI steel bars are more often preferred by the contractors. So now going to the table 7 and 8 to understand the uh, direct design method procedure. So for the interior flat plate panel in the long direction, the M0 we already determined is 411.4 kip feet. Uh, uh, as we know that we first uh, distribute it into the negative and positive. So the negative is equal to 65% of M0 and positive is 35%. So we got the values of M negative and M positive. Now the second step is to distribute this M negative 
into column and middle strip and m positive into column and middle strip right so the column strip will uh, carry 75% of this negative load of 267 so 75% of m negative is 201 and positive will get uh, 60% so 60% of 144 gives you 86 right similarly the middle strip will get 25% of this negative and 40% of this positive so we have distributed the moment uh, along the transverse direction uh, easily now width of the strip uh, in inches the width of the strip in inches is uh, 120 uh, for all the four because if you remember it is the same in the longer direction 5 feet uh, or uh, 10 feet for uh, uh, column strip and 10 feet for the middle strip right so therefore this is 120 inches for all the um, uh, middle and column strips for negative and positive moment effective depth we already determined it and it is 7.9 inches so uh, easily uh, determine the value of ru which is equal to mu which is there mu divided by b and d square we have got b we have got d and uh, we will get the value of uh, ru and from the value of ru we will get the value of uh, steel ratio rho right and uh, it will be different for different bending moments now determining area of steel from this row which is equal to rho into bd and uh, we got the a value of area of steel for uh, these uh, bending moments and uh, applying the value of minimum area of steel equation is, is equal to 0.0018 b into hs and when we put the values we get the uh, value for minimum area of steel as you can see that uh, for the column strip it does not govern but for the middle strip the minimum reinforcement governs okay so here we will design on the basis of minimum reinforcement so bar selected uh, we will select number 5 bar for the column strip 20 number 5 bars for the negative and 10 number 5 bars for the positive which gives us a spacing of 6 inch for the negative and 12 inch for the positive however number 4 bar is selected with the spacing of 12 inches and this design is for the longer direction please keep in mind and uh, in the longer direction the width strip was 120 now coming to the shorter direction here you can see that the strip uh, width of the column strip is same it is 120 but for the middle strip it is 14 feet so which gives us 168 inches the rest of the steps are same and these are the spacing of the bars right so this is the drafting for bar length for example uh, column strip long direction middle strip long direction column strips short direction and middle strip short direction you can compare this uh, these values with these tables right for clarification and last figure which gives you that uh, how much the development length should be provided uh, in different cases for example without drop panel wet drop panel at exterior support at interior support for the positive reinforcement for the negative reinfo uh, reinforcement etc right so that's all from uh, this lecture i hope uh, you have learned how to analyze and design using direct design method and i will be waiting for uh, your response and your reply in the comment section please let me know whether you uh, like it or not thank you very much see you in the next video